What made the project, I think for me, resonate in totally new ways was to actually go to Daytona, see the drivers, the excitement of the beginning of the race, experience what a 24-hour race was like, um, see this car, see this hypercar actually, the sound of it, seeing it in the pit stop, all of the numbers of humans that are involved in that process. That was thrilling and then that kind of infected me with like what ideas for the car. It comes from a painting that I made. One of the ideas too was when the car moves through this painting, it's as if the painting is a portal and it's moving through time, as if it's like gone from one sense of dimension to another and that the, that, that dimension has altered the vehicle, right? That that, that that portal has fundamentally shifted the vehicle. But it also gives the idea that the car has kind of, you have all this um, debris and kind of jetsam and stuff and you know on the car kind of the remnants of that and so when we wrapped it the first time I wanted it wrapped in a matte material so it really felt more like maybe like a painting but it actually just looked like a paper car it didn't really have the kind of dynamism of like of the and the, of the of the shapes and what it could do so the minute we put a gloss version on I was so much more kind of interested in that and I'm really happy that we went that direction because it feels much more like this vehicle that has kind of collected all this mess on. And the point of it is that the art car races. Like to me, that's what was so exciting about doing this project is that it will actually get more marks, get more detritus on it, get the kind of remnants of that, the footprints of the drivers, all of that will become part of the art car. And I'm really excited about that. I'm really, I'm fascinated by those kinds of minds and beings that could go that fast in this tiny vehicle that, um, it's like a rocket on the ground and I would be terrified. So there must be something differently wired in their brains. <laughs> nein, 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 nein. Du hast keine Schokoladenseite. Ja, wo ist die Schokoladenseite? Ich bin immer links. Ich, weiß, ich ja. bin immer links. Immer links. Ich bin immer links. Warum? Ciao. Today I learned how to say the word properly. It's very important. Centro Pompidou. And today is the launch of? The Art Car by uh, Julie, the 20th edition of the Art Car. Um, very important milestone in, in the Art Car history. Um, our car is obviously number 20 as well for Lamar, so very special. Presentation done. Now ready we for. We'll see schick an for a geiles dinner heute Abend. Yeah, and after the dinner is before the race, right? So presentation is done now. Yeah. Next stop. Le Mans. Würde ich sagen, oder? Yeah. Test. First a pre-test. Pre and then the big race. Yeah, I mean, when you see all the bosses and the ACO president, uh, Pierre Fillon is here, like, it, it clearly, there's a lot of uh, pressure in this whole thing, but it doesn't really, I mean, we all want to win, regardless if you have the art car or not, right? So it, it for sure adds a bit of flavor to it. It's cool to see that so many people are interested in it, but um, it doesn't really change anything. Yeah, but you know, there were already two, three people coming up towards me and said, uh, don't uh, crash it in the first corner. So you can, I, yeah. you can feel that there is <laughs> expectation that the car is at least running for one lap. Yeah, that's true. So whoever does the start will have, uh, at least for the one lap, lots of well, points. It will probably be you in this case. Yeah, huh? Thank you. You've done the starts every race. So <laughs> yeah, but before we go to Lomo, we actually go to Spa for a nice rollout to uh, check down our new uh, art car. of Le Mans is something very special for a race driver. I mean, uh, before the first, my first time, I didn't know what to expect. And once I was in the grid and you are lining up uh, for the national anthem, you know what it's about. It's, it's a miss, uh, you know, it's, there's so much history 
behind that race and you get goosebumps standing in that grid and, and, and you know, seeing the fans, seeing everybody just being super excited for that race. It means so much for, for everybody. Um, and that's why it's, it's so special. It's, it's a race everybody wants to win, every manufacturer, every team, every driver. And, you know, going down the straight with over 350 kph through the night, uh, battling with uh, 20 cars uh, next to you uh, or behind you, in front of you, is uh, it's a feeling you never get on, on any other track. And then going through the fast corners, the last sector, with over 250 kph in the night without seeing a lot, is, uh, is a feeling you, you don't get on any other track.